Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Uh, it's good to see you, good to be with you. I miss all you guys. Um, I hope everything's going well and you guys are all getting your assignments done and uh, working hard at home. I know that the teachers are working hard getting their, uh, their assignments to you. We're all trying to do our best during this, this tough time. Um, but it's important to accentuate the positive things. So this past week we celebrated a very, very special holiday. It's a holiday that I really enjoy. Uh, I bet Molly and Saoirse McDonough know what uh, what I'm talking about because their dad is from Ireland, right? So what what holiday did we celebrate that is Irish this past week? Hmm? Does anybody know? Yes, St. Patrick's Day. So it's one of my favorite holidays, uh, a really fun day. So I hope you guys celebrated, had some green eggs and ham maybe uh, to celebrate the, uh, the Irish holiday of St. Patrick's Day. Uh, what I wanted to do today is read to you guys one of my favorite stories. All right? It's called uh, The Rabbit Listened. Okay? Um, we are going to read this today together. Uh, some people may have already read it. I may have already read it to some of you guys in class. Um, but you can listen to it again. And if you would like to, you can listen to it with a younger brother or sister, or an older brother or sister, or your mom and your dad, all right? or anybody that's home with you. Okay? Um, we're going to talk a little bit about The Rabbit Listened and what the, what the meaning of the story is, what the the lesson that the author is trying to tell us uh, in the story is. So as I read, as we look through this, this story, uh, think, what is the author trying to tell me? What's the message um, that they're trying to give me in the story? Okay, so this is The Rabbit Listen. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new. Something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. You see Taylor's amazing creation there? They look, they look pretty proud, huh? But then, out of nowhere, what happened? Things came crashing down. Taylor doesn't look too happy, does he? The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck. What a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry that this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking. So the chicken left. Next came the bear. Gar, rar, how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Gar, rar, gar. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. That looks like an angry bear, huh? The elephant knew just what to do. Trumpada, I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way they were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. So the elephant also left. See the elephant leaving? He doesn't look too happy. One by one, they came. The hyena, hee hee! Let's laugh about it. The ostrich. Gulp. Let's hide and <coughs> pretend nothing happened. See the ostrich with his head in the sand. The kangaroo. Tisk tisk. What a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake. Let's go and knock down someone else. That snake's not very nice, huh? But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. 
until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit. See the rabbit coming in? But it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. See the rabbit just sitting next to Taylor? Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. See Taylor shouting right now? The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. You can see Taylor's plans are even bigger and better than the other ones. And that is the end. So. That's one of my favorite stories, The Rabbit Listened. Okay. What do you think the author is trying to tell us? What's the message of the story? Hmm, think about it for a second. All of Taylor's friends, the hyena, the elephant, the bear, the ostrich, they all came to try and tell Taylor what he should do. But Taylor never felt like doing any of these things. But in the end, the rabbit came. And what did the rabbit do? The rabbit did something that was really important. Did the rabbit tell Taylor what he should do? No. The rabbit simply listened to Taylor. And the funny thing is, Taylor ended up doing all of the things that each one of his friends before had said to do. But he did it on his own. And the rabbit just listened until in the end, Taylor decided that he wanted to rebuild. And so what do you think? What do you think the message of the story is? Tell, uh, tell someone at home, what do you think the message of the story is? Hmm. What's the author trying to tell us? I think that it could be, well, what do you think? What do you think? I think what it could be is that sometimes people don't want to be told what to do. They just want to be listened to. And so one of the best things that you could ever do for anybody that's having a problem or having a bad day is simply listen to them. And I think that is really important in a time like we're in right now. When we're at home, we can be frustrated. Um, our parents can be frustrated. We can be frustrated. Uh, I can be frustrated. Uh, and so it's important that people listen to us. Okay? Instead of trying to fix our problems, uh, they can listen to us. And then that way, we can try to fix our own problems. Okay? So again, that is The Rabbit Listen, one of my favorite stories. And Miss Russell lent me this book. So if you want to grab it when we come back to school, it's in Miss Russell's, Russell's office. Okay? Guys and girls, I hope you have an amazing day today. All right. Have an amazing weekend coming up. Stay safe and stay happy. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys soon.